check one, check two, check three. This is my GoPro ultimate setup video. All right, so this is a video that I've been meaning to make for a while now. I actually tried to make this once on a cruise ship, but once you learn the little secrets of it, it works fantastic. Fantastic. And you may have seen the video where I was raving about it underwater at the Great Barrier Reef. And I even did a video comparing all the microphones. How does it sound? <laughs> How does it sound? So the last bunch of videos you've seen has just been done on the GoPro. GoPro take photo! This is to me the ultimate GoPro setup. Actually, it's the ultimate travel camera setup. And what it is, it's the GoPro Hero 7 Black and it's got a Ulanzi case, which also houses your microphone adapter. And then I use the uh, Smart Lav Plus, which is kind of funny because there's the Rode Video Micro, there's the Rode Wireless Go, there's some cheap microphones out there. The cheap microphones, you can't trust, they might completely ruin a take, and that's happened to me before. The Rode Video Micro, it's terrible in wind. When the wind starts hitting it, it is just cutting out all the time. The Rode Wireless Go, this would be my go-to. It's just a little bit too much effort to turn on and start recording when I basically just use this when I'm traveling and I want that quick shot. So GoPro, if you're listening, I know you're not, but maybe you are, uh, two things. If you can make it so that there's user preferences, if you're scrolling between screens and you have time-lapse and video and uh, camera, if you scroll a couple more, you can have like user preference one, user preference two, user preference three. I can set something so that it's like linear 2.7, ready to go, so I don't have to go through and change all the things in the settings. And if it's nighttime and you have these custom settings for a night shoot, you can easily just switch it to that user preference. Could you imagine if GoPro or a different company created lenses that can snap on? Look, so you don't necessarily need another wide angle lens, but if you wanted to get telephoto and there's a way to just easily snap on a lens, or maybe there's another lens that could be like, you know, uh, that cool effect where it's like the background is blurry and then you can maybe even manual focus it. And imagine even if there was like a macro clip to it as well, you can get those really cool um, close up shots with the macro lens. So the selfie stick I use, it's not like my favorite, but uh, it has a really good ball head. More importantly, it has a screw thread so that you can uh, put it on a tripod. What's cool about this Elanzi case is that you can also have a cold shoe where you can put a light here at the top so you have your microphone and a light that way your subject is looking nice for the GoPro especially in the lighting because you need that so I do have a lot of GoPro accessories I just wanted to show you guys what I use in a quick Tech Tuesday video and uh, yeah before we leave I got to do shout out because it's Tuesday we do shout outs shout out so today I'm shouting out Xander Round, who does a lot of GoPro stuff as well and does a lot of really cool reviews. That is one massive advantage he's got over normal cameras. He's out in the UK, he's been around this channel for a long time. So guys, thanks for watching, until next time, take it easy. He's a really nice dude, you should definitely check him out and support his channel and uh, yeah, that'd be fantastic. All right guys, that's it for me. See you next time, more ship videos. Maybe not, I don't know, we'll see. Later.